The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw. And they're set up now with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run here with Edwards. And a nice pick up there. It gets about five down to the four-yard line. Hat tip to that offensive line. They're clearing some holes, even down here deep in the red zone. And that's a nice pick up on the ground on first and goal. Second and goal from inside the five. Once more, Edwards. And not a whole lot there as he'll get him down at about the two. They give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. Brad, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you're two. You're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Jackson's going to keep it. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Lamar Jackson scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Ravens have got it back to within a score. Well, that was all Lamar Jackson all the time on that drive, both through the air and in the end with the touchdown run. Yeah, how about him doing things a little bit on the reverse side there, Brandon, because he softened him up throwing the football and opened up the running lanes. And when he gets a little bit of a sliver, he's gone. And that's exactly what he did there. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense... They just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Exactly what they needed right there, because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off, because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Here we go, here we go. Now a play fake, and it's gone. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Call that a very Go strong back. gain of 24. Straight ahead with Gibbs here. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Another run for Gibbs here. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. 
Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Now it's Goff off the bootleg. Steps away. And he'll just throw this one over in the way of the security crew. Incomplete here. And down here, first and goal. If it's not there, don't force it. You've got at least two, if not three more shots at it. So that's a wise move to get rid of it. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line. Second and goal. Gibbs straight ahead. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Goff now to throw. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. Sam LaPorta from four yards out. And the Lions will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And a lead now up to 14. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And with a dime left on defense, two extra defensive bats on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass that have allowed them to disrupt the play. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Jackson. That's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Flushed out right. It's caught inside the 25. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. Tucker's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. With a fair catch taken short of the goal line, and they'll begin this third quarter at their own 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. 
And they trail here to begin the second half. What's going to be a key for them to get back in the game? I think they're right there, and I think this game is still up for the taking for them because we always talk about turnovers. They had two of them in the first half, and once you start talking about if you have three, four, or five, you know it's beyond difficult to try and win a football game with that. Those have to be eliminated. If they take care of the ball, they've still got a shot. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Ricard going to get it on the option. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuck up in the backfield. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Well, sometimes you read a defense, they can pass rush, and you see them on those sprinter stances. I think you can give that quick hitter to the fullback and have it go for seven, eight, nine yards, but not that time. They stuffed him before he could get back to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Jackson. This pass caught by Beckham. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. Up the middle, it's Edwards. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. From just across the midfield stripe, here's a second and eight. On the option right is Jackson. Here's Edwards again on second down. Down the right sideline, and he's going to get it all the way down to the 10-yard line. 146 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. That was excellent from start to finish, from the blocking to the running, just well executed. And now let's look ahead, because after that, how about a little play action, maybe a little bootleg, and get the quarterback out on the corner and give him a little yeah, run yeah. pass option. And they're right down here looking for six. Up the middle, here's Edwards. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the 6. Another good run for him. What else is new? That'll put him right at 150 yards for the game. So he's really made his presence felt in this one. On second down. Oh, he put it on the court for the fumble. Could have been a costly mistake, but as it turns out, they keep possession. You can't give away these types of opportunities in the red zone. And I'm sure that was flashing through his brain as the ball escaped his hands. Fortunately for him, able to get picked up by his team, fumble recovered. They still have an opportunity deep in the red zone. This will wind up a loss on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. Tucker's kick is good, and that'll make this an eight-point game. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. And let's get the ball back for us. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They have played so strongly. You look at the scoreboard, you, you probably, with the way they played, you would think the margin would be a lot bigger, right? You would. And in your experience, how many times have we run into coaches where they talked about, hey, we just want to put it in the hands of our defense and have them win the game? In this case, yeah, not, the case. not at all. You want to put it in the hands of your offense, but you always feel better about seeing defense because you think defense is a constant and offense kind of comes and goes. Today, <laughs> this game, no, they need their offense to stay at a really hot level. They've been hot so far. You know, get this down to the 38. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He 
trying to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Back to the ground. This time Montgomery still formed it. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 11 yards there and a line first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find the hole. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. That one goes for 24 yards. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And the lead is up to 15 now. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. He'll going to sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Hey. The Baltimore offense at the line set no, to no. get going. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He's up to 88 yards receiving in the ball game now, and he's got a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Another carry for the fullback, Ricard. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And there's the pickup you want on first down. All offenses say, you get me four on first down, we'll take it. How about if you get five? They'll really be happy. On second down, here's the option. And no pitch there and no chance either as he's brought down behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Here's Jackson to throw. He completes it to Beckham. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. Odell Beckham, 55 yards. 
yards. And the Ravens get a bit closer. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Play action. It's gone. That'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A gain of 28 yards there and give him the first down. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. On the give, here's Gibbs. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Four now. Set. From the gun, it's a give to Montgomery. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. 41 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front. And they're able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. First down. Here's the run to Montgomery. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Nine yards on the carry there, and that will be the final play of quarter number three. Back now at Ford Field. It's the Lions holding on to the football, and they also have the lead as we start quarter number four. From the 20, here's second down and one. Here we go. Value one. What's that? Hand off now to Gibbs. And he'll we'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Jameer Gibbs taking it in from the 20. And the Lions have opened up a two touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. And that's certainly an important touchdown there and makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. Hill going to think better of bringing this one out, and the drive will start at the 25. Get 
The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And for one of the few times here today, this one's not going to go anywhere. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. This offense so far on third down, they've converted six times and could use a seventh here. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he will finally be wrestled down at the Lions' 32-yard line. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. Now, yes, a two-possession gain, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Now Jackson on first down. And this is going to be hauled in by the tight end Andrews. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Now they'll give it to the first option. That's their fullback. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Just a couple on the ground there. That's going to bring up third and about six. Well, big man with ball. Mid, bigger man on the other side of the line. A really nice play for the defense. From the gun on third down, Jackson. There's Flowers. He's got it. Touchdown, Ravens. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Ravens are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. So this is now a nine-point difference. You figure the book here says kick the extra point, make it a one-score game. Now, you and I have seen coaches get overly aggressive in this spot, but I agree with you. Kick it here and get back within a score. Tucker able to connect on the extra point as this gets him back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First downs a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. 74 yards rushing for him now to this point. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Here's a second and two now from the 33. They'll go again with Gibbs. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. 
But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now to stop them, get to the ball. That means it might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. And sensing the momentum, maybe changing here a little bit, Charles. Yeah, this defense is going to get off the field quickly, and their offense got them a touchdown the last time they had the ball, so they should get another shot. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And it feels like the momentum has shifted. They scored, then their defense forces that last punt. And now a chance to tie the game on this possession. Tackle made that time by Aline McNeil. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Now an option play on second down. Not even a chance to pitch that one as he's swallowed up in the backfield. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there. They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. score down here we go they're gonna go for it here on fourth down here we go it's Jackson on fourth down pass taken in by his big tight end and he is gonna have a Ravens first down and that was something else a big pickup on fourth and long to give them a new set of downs. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked in the distance you need. That's exactly what they got done. A run there on first down, and a pretty good one at five yards, so make it second and five. Brandon, five yards on that run? Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And I'm go. Jackson going to keep it running right. And he held on to it, but he probably shouldn't have as they get him behind the line. But we just saw the recipe for success right there. Big body, strong, agile, playing with great leverage and hands. Not really able to be blocked on that play. Close things down inside. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. To throw is Jackson. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Chauncey Gardner Johnson with a pick. And he's going to take this one back to the 37 yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. 
Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Back to Montgomery on second down. And he's going to be down close to a first down at the Ravens 29. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Oh, you can see and feel the disappointment on that one because you saw some guys on the sidelines jumping up going, oh, no. Looked like they had that one set up well on third down. But you got to give yourself time to get rid of the football. So here comes a very important kick now for Michael Badgley. This to make it a two-score game. Badgley able to knock this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. Oh, ready. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. A tougher task for them now. That turnover on their last possession led to the field goal, meaning that they have to now try to erase a two-score deficit here in the fourth. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 23 yards, the final tally. A good start there on first down. They've got to have this drive. No doubt about it. Down a couple of scores. They have to find a way to put it in the end zone. Chunk plays, explosive plays. That will be the key to this drive. Play action. Now Jackson rolling to his right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Even the most elusive quarterbacks have those tough days where they can't avoid sacks, and this is one of them. Third time he's gone down. He might develop some happy feet now, want to escape the pocket and try and gain more yardage with his legs. Jackson now. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. Oh, man, that is just a flat miss. He's in the pocket. The protection holds up. He sees his man come free, but maybe he just gets a little excited about the prospect of a long touchdown. No, we changed it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's Jackson on third and long. And bringing it in right side here, Beckham. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception. But playing this way is what got him this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. Another try, second and ten now. Report, report. Yo, yo. To throw again is Jackson. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Edwards. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. The sound reverberating here in the dome. This is third down. Hey, hey, 
Play action. It's Jackson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Here's first and goal. They'll run with Mitchell. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. Certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain, but I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back into seven. Derek Barnes in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback. He's not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. Tucker's kick is good. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for them. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. And he'll conserve whatever time he can as they'll opt to bring it out to the 25-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Second and long, but you got to figure this almost certainly another run. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And not much room there, so get it up only to about the 21. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. So here's a third and 14. Now it's gone. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch. Is the arm there? The leg's still there. This has been a tough game. Fielded just inside the 20. <laughs> 34 yards on the return. But for a moment, looked like he had a shot to go all the way. And the Ravens set up well to begin their drive as it'll begin in enemy territory already. This is first and ten. Jackson. And that's going to be incomplete. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage, and some, they like to go for the big shot. No fear in risking a deep ball there, but it wasn't enough to get him the completion. Here comes second down. Jackson. It's Flowers. 
Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. This offense cannot stop the clock now. No timeouts remaining as they come up here first down. Hey, middle, middle, middle. Hey, hey, hey. Throwing Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. I see you nodding your head up and down. It's a very heady decision at this stage of the game. Out of the pocket, nowhere to go. Just get rid of it. That's a smart play because you're not worried about your completion percentage, and you're also not trying to force it into bad traffic as well. Throw the ball away, live to fight another down. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Now Jackson. is caught he's got it for a touchdown and now in the final seconds it's all going to come down to a two-point conversion we'll break down the touchdown later it's two-point conversion time go to your script pick your play and go for it Listen to this crowd now. Their guys need a stop on this two-point conversion. Here's Jackson. And he will get in. The two-point conversion is good. And we may be on our way to overtime. Everything was riding on that two-point conversion, and they got it. They got it. They now have the momentum. Time really dwindling in this game. Now their big deal is make sure they get a good kickoff and don't give up anything big on the defensive end. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. So overtime on the horizon, barring a wild finish here as the kick's away. And the fair catch taken. No time will come off the clock. And they will begin this critical drive at the 25-yard line. First and ten. Golf. He's airing it out for Williams. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And he will be taken down. And that means we are headed to overtime. And we've got free football, four quarters done, and we're dead even. We'll have overtime after this timeout. So it's the Ravens who won the toss. They'll get the football first here in overtime as the kick is away. Fair catch called for and taken. So the ball brought up to the 25 to begin this overtime session. Come on, 
The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. No, we changed it. First throw in overtime now for Jackson. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover at the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They go play action now. Jackson. That is caught. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. And a big 32-yard play on third. And how about that? So many times the big play is what does it in overtime. They got one there. Move the ball past midfield. And now you know they're on the move. Looking to score the game-winning touchdown because a field goal won't finish the game. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. On a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And no pitch there and no chance either as he's brought down behind the line of scrimmage. But good luck there as a ball carrier. You get handed that football, look up. Oh, there's a big D tackle ready to swallow you whole for a loss. Yeah, you kind of count on your guys to give you at least a little bit of time, a little bit of space to try and maneuver. But not on that hey. one. And when you have a defensive tackle who is that strong, hey, middle, that middle, middle. agile, He's a lot to deal with. Sometimes you have to double him, and sometimes you're not able to block him no matter who's trying. Report, report. Yo, yo. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to pull that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Here's Jackson to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Defensively now, the ultimate challenge. Of course, the ball gets in the end zone. This thing's over. And I remember my coach has always talked about in goal line situations, and now you're in overtime where they have to keep them to three points. Otherwise, this thing is done. Win your individual battle within the framework of the team defense. Beat that guy across from you and make a play. I expect him to attack on defense and not sit back. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. Smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now 
Lamar changing the look. They'll come out in the pistol. Again, it'll be Edwards. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. He's had some big runs in this game. Not there, though. But I don't think they're going to be deterred by that play right there. He's had some nice runs in the game. And how many times have we seen a good running back get stopped, yet turn it into something big on a later carry? I'd stay with him. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Six yards on the touchdown run. So the lanes continue to be there for Lamar Jackson to run that football. That his second touchdown run of the game. You know what I would like? I'd like for us to be able to go into a defense's room after playing Lamar Jackson and watch the tape and see how much of a lane was really there and how much he created just through his talent. In any event, Lamar Jackson finds the end zone, doesn't he? He always seems to, but that's a good point. We sometimes put blame on the defense. Maybe we just need to praise Lamar Jackson a little bit more. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Maverick Wall, what's up? On first down, gone. Throw left side complete. That's Gibbs. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. It's his guy on the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice safe throw and a good one. Here's third and three. Third and three. 17. 17. 17. Now gone. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Once that ball was popped in the air, you could almost hear the silence, the collective breath being held here in the stadium. Let's be honest about it. We both came out of our chairs, didn't we? All right, anytime you see the ball in the air like that, there is that collective rise, the crowd holding its breath, and oh, it's intercepted. That'll seal it. Picked off by Roquan Smith, and the Ravens are going to take over at their own 41. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout, but instead they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to a one-possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Ford Field.